Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, hello, Che Che. Hi, Steph. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Um, so, guys, today we're looking at polite questions and the X sound and Titanic. Woo! So, um, to warm up, I would like you guys to introduce yourselves and tell us one thing you know about the Titanic. So, um, I'm Sam. You guys know me already. I'm Canadian. Um, I know that the Titanic was a big boat, and there's a movie based on it, and um, there's a lot of history to it, so we'll be looking at some of the history today. Um, Roberto, could you introduce yourself and tell us what you know about Titanic? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Roberto. I am 29. I am from Peru, but I am living in Japan at the moment. Mm -hmm. And about Titanic, uh, I know it had a sister ship called the Olympic, mm -hmm. and the Titanic uh, took approximately two hours to completely s sunk. Mm -hmm. To completely sink? Sink, okay. Mm -hmm. And, well, yeah, that's all. Okay, good. And, Cheche, what about you? Oh, I think she's frozen. Cheche? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, here's another question. Have you ever been on a boat? Um, Roberto? Um, not as big as the Titanic. I, a boat, um, for example, in a, in a pond, in a park, mm -hmm. or in a lake. Okay, but, but not a big yacht or like a cruise ship or anything? No, never. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever driven a boat? Or just been on one? Uh, just been on one. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And Che Che, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Could you introduce yourself to everyone and tell us one thing you know about Titanic? Uh, hello, my name is Che Che. I'm from Indonesia. As I know, of course, Titanic. There's a big accident. Uh, it's around thousand people. Maybe was dead, and yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. And there's a popular movie, very popular movie. Mm -hmm. Eleven Academy Award. Uh, mhm. Mm Do you like the movie? Yes, sure. Mhm. Mm I like oh. Leonardo DiCaprio, of course. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> and um, Che Che, have you ever been on a boat? Is it me or can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're okay, on a bad internet connection. Uh, okay, it's Che Che's. Okay, I didn't know if it was my connection. <laughs> um, Furkan, tell us something you know about Titanic. Uh, what do you know? I, well, I know what was going to happen at the end of the movie, but I still watched it. And um, I can't say that I really liked it, but I think it must be a good movie since it is the second top grossing movies of all time. And it is a good plot. And probably after the movie, probably you hate it, that's Iceberg. Yeah, I didn't. True. <laughs> I just didn't care. Actually, I don't know. I don't remember what happened at the end of the movie. Who survived and what happened? I just remember there was an old lady saying something about it. Yeah. The old lady is Rose when she's old. What happened to Jack? Jack dies. Why? Well, he he freezes to death in the water. Did he? Fall down to water? Yeah, he's... Well, did you not finish... Did you watch the whole movie? 
Uh, yeah, I know what happens in the movie. But at the end, um, Jack and Rose are like on a plank of wood where they're floating, yeah. but they don't both fit on it. So Jack's in the water, like holding her hand, and he freezes to death. And then the rescue boats come and get oh. Rose. I see. And then the old lady is Rose telling the story. That's why she's there. Anyways, have you ever been on a boat, Firkin? Yeah. Yeah, lots of, lots of time. Ferries. Ferries? Where did you take a ferry? In Istanbul. You have to take a ferry all day. I mean, you know, it's between Asia and Europe, so you have to take it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And Quang, what about you, Quang? Could you introduce yourself and tell us something you know about Titanic? Okay, yes. Uh, my name is Quang and I come from Vietnam. Yes. Uh, I've been uh, watched uh, Titanic uh, movie. Um, it, it talk about uh, the romantic love uh, between uh, Ro uh, Rose and uh, Rose and uh, um, uh, just the like, uh, the main character I forget Rose and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, yes yeah, they uh, fell fell in love. Uh, mm -hmm. And the end of the uh, on the ball, which in the big uh, seat, and mm -hmm. uh, the end of the story, the man freeze to death. They, they uh, it's, it's a uh, tragic uh, love story. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Um, do you know? Do you guys know much about the history or just the the movie mostly? Yeah, the uh, history. Like nineteen twelve, right? When they mm -hmm. started sailing. Um. Right. Where's my link? Actually, no, I won't do it now. We'll do it later. Um. But yeah, it's it's in nineteen twelve. Um, yeah, I know the story. Cool. So, um, for pronunciation today, we're looking at your X sound. And the different um, the different sounds that it, the X makes. So there's actually two X sounds. There's first there's the X sound like a KS, and second there's the GZ sound. GZ. There's X and GZ. Um, the <laughs> the X sound. <laughs> I don't know. What does it sound like? It's kind of like when you you pop a tire and air comes out. Yeah, like. And then the sound is like when you're electrocuted. You go. <laughs> <laughs> so, is like air coming out of a tire, and is like an electrocution. These are the two X sounds. Okay. Um, we use the. X uh, more often, but we do also use the g sometimes in words like exist and example. Um, but the x sound is much more common. Um, so, for example, if I read, if I say, um, "Excuse me," what sound am I making? Excuse me, excuse me. X. X. Example. X. 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 Example. 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 There's a variation there. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like this. Example. It's example. And it sounds like egg. Example. Okay. Try. Uh, what about exit? Exit. 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 Like this, right? Exit. <laughs> um, that sounds funny. An exit. <laughs> um, ex exam. 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 Or x. Executive. 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 Exotic. 
Mm-hmm. Z. Exotic. Z. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Examine. Z. Good. Can you think of any other X words? X. 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 Which sound is in that X. 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 Excuse. X. Excuse. Exactly. 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 Perplex. 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 Whenever you have the X at the end, it's the X sound. Perplex. Paradox. Complex. Um, complex. Tax. It's always the x sound at, when it's at the end. Um, extort. Extort. Is x. Crux. Mm -hmm. So whenever the x is at the end, it's a ks sound. A lot of the time after an e, it's a x sound. Um, but it's x more often than x. Ice box, box, fox, box. Mm -hmm. okay. Socks. Socks. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> Same socks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions about your X sound? Nope. Okay. We're going to look at polite questions today for grammar. So there's the link. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Roberto, could you read the first part for us? Uh, okay. Polite questions. First, you can make direct questions that are grammatically correct but that are much too strong for everyday use. In general, the polite approach will be considered friendlier. Tourette, will you close the door? Polite, could you please close the door? Good. So we've got two different options. This is a direct question. Will you close the door? A polite question starts with could you. Could you please close the door? How else could we say this? Uh, may I? I know. Would you mind closing the door? Mind Missing. closing the door? What else? Do you mind? Closing the door. Do you mind? Do you mind if I oh. close the door? Um, may I close the door? Pardon? May I close the door, please? Or would that be inappropriate if I close the door, sir? <laughs> would it be a bother if you close the door, kind sir? Um, okay, so these are polite versions of the questions. They tend to start with some sort of phrase. Could you? Would you? Do you mind? May I? Right? Um, versus a direct question, which is missing that sort of phrase. Okay? Um, generally speaking, a polite approach is friendlier, right? That makes sense. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it sounds more friendly when you're being polite. Um, like second, um, Quang, would you like to read? Okay, teacher. Second, you can use the past tense to make requests less direct and more polite. Do you want a meal with your coffee? Do you want your sandwich with some French fries? This is very common in the service sector. Waiters, barristers, by attendant, etc. Good. So, um, you can also use the past tense, right, to make the did you? Did you want? Did you want? Um, but you could just as easily say, do you? Or some from catch up. 
you want fries with that, right? So did you or do you? Did you can sometimes seem more a little bit more polite, but they do mean the same thing. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. again, can you read the next part? Okay. Third, you can use can, can or could to ask polite questions. Could is more polite, but can is usually okay too. Construction, can, could, plus you, plus verb. Could you turn off your music? Can you wash the dishes? You can also add please after you or at the end of the sentence. Could you please turn off your music? Can you wash the dishes, please? Good. Um, I don't even know how many accents we just heard from you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard to do British pretty, in there, I, I think. <laughs> okay. It never works mm -hmm. the hardest. So you can use can and could, right? Could you? This can you? And then once you add please, it sounds a lot more polite. And you can you can put it after the subject or at the end of your sentence. Okay. Fourth, um, Roberto, would you like to read? Or actually, uh, Che Che, we haven't heard from Che Che. Yes. Sorry, my connection sucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's okay. Um, do you want to read or? Yes, yeah, sure. Mhm. Mm Excuse me. Number third, right? Uh, number four. Uh, number four. Okay. Or you can add excuse me for a WH question. Excuse me. Where is the post office? Excuse me. Who is that person over there? You can also add excuse me to any question to make it more polite. Excuse me. Have you seen Tom this morning? Yep. Yeah, and this one. Excuse me, are you the new trainee? Good. So once you add excuse me in the beginning, again, it's starting to sound more polite. Um, excuse me is just a way to show that you don't mean to bother someone, right? Um, excuse me, kind sir. Where is the post office? <laughs> excuse me, who is that person over there? Excuse me, have you seen Tom this morning? Right, so adding excuse me, it's just another way to add... Um, some politeness to your question. And the last one. That is. Uh, did you have a question? <laughs> Intonation influence. Oh. oh, she's gone. Mm -hmm. I think she was asking about the intonation, but I'll wait for her to come back. Um, fifth, you can use would you mind to make the most polite questions. Would you mind verbing? <laughs> so, would you mind closing the door? Would you mind telling me what happened? After would you mind, you have to use a, a gerund or an ing form of the verb. Okay, would you mind closing? Cool. Um, Chi Chi, did you have a question? <laughs> yes, about uh, intonation of excuse me. Sometimes it sounds different. Excuse me and excuse me. Mm -hmm. excuse because me. it's influenced too. Excuse me. Excuse yes, it's me. Um, but if you ask it like this, then that shows that someone is doing something annoying or being rude. You go, <laughs> excuse me? Right? What um, the heck was that? Like, what? That's what you're kind of saying. But in this case, um, when you're being polite, it's, excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so it's a different intonation. Yeah. Um, okay. Any other questions about polite questions? They're also no. known as in. No, ma'am. We are good. Okay, sir. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at our topic. Why I keep muting you? Well, it's because you're making noises. <laughs> We're talking. So, Titanic. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> A century has sailed by. 
since the luxurious oh, luxury steamship RMS Titanic met its catastrophic end in the North Atlantic, plunging two miles to the ocean floor after sideswiping an iceberg during its main voyage. Rather than the intended port of New York, a deep sea grave became the pride of the White Star Line's final destination in the early hours of April 15, 1912. More than 1,500 people lost their lives after the, in the disaster. In the decades since her demise, Titanic has inspired countless books and several notable films while continuing to make headlines, particularly since the 1985 discovery of her resting place off the coast of Newfoundland. Meanwhile, her story has entered the public consciousness as a powerful cautionary tale about the perils of human hubris. Um, let's see. I don't think we'll read about the the making, but we'll read about the fatal flaws because it's more interesting. Um, <laughs> I want to see it sink. Pardon? You're like, I want to see it sink. Well, I think that ship has sailed, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> <laughs> according to some hypotheses, Titanic was doomed from the start by the design so many lauded as state-of-the-art. The Olympic-class ships featured a double bottom and 15 watertight bulkheads equipped with electric watertight doors which could be operated individually or simultaneously by a switch on the bridge. It was these watertight bulkheads that inspired Shipbuilder magazine in a special issue devoted to the Olympic liners to deem them practically unsinkable. But the watertight compartment design contained a flaw dun, 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 that may have been a critical factor in Titanic's sinking. While the individual bulkheads were indeed watertight, water could spill from one compartment to another. Several of Titanic's Cunard, Cunard owned contemporaries, by contrast, already boasted innovative safety features devised to avoid this very situation. Had White Star taken a cue from its competitor, it might have saved Titanic from a disaster. The second critical safety lapse that contributed to the loss of so many lives was the number of lifeboats carried on Titanic. Those 16 boats, along with four Engelhart collapsibles, could accommodate 1,178 people. Titanic, when full, could carry 2,435 passengers, and a crew of approximately 900 brought a capacity to more than 3,300 people. As a result, even if the lifeboats were loaded to full capacity during an emergency evacuation, there were available seats for only one-third of those on board. So they kind of messed that one up a little bit, right? <laughs> um, didn't have enough safety, enough seats. So it was inevitable. If they were to crash, people would die. I don't know how they got away with that. Like, that blows my mind. Um, okay. So... Fatal flaws. Um, do you see any new vocabulary, new words that you want me to explain? Mm, I don't think so. What about, I saw one up here. Um, hubris, do you know what that means? Excess of confidence. Yeah, to oh, being overly confident. What is a yeah. cautionary tale? Uh, for example, you tell someone a story that has kids has to take advice from it. Have to, like that. Yep, exactly. So a tale that's cautioning you against some doing something. Um, any other vocabulary? Do you see any new words, Quang or Roberto? Um, nope. Okay, it's all good. All right. So, Titanic. Hmm? This is a catastrophe. A catastrophe. Oh, catastrophic. It's catastrophic end. Um, it means an end of catastrophe, right? But what is a catastrophe? Can anyone tell us? Uh, like really bad thing. Uh, yes, like a really bad thing, um, a disaster. 
something like that, uh, something disastrous. So a catastrophic end would be a disastrous end. Um, okay. Anything else? Nope. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to show you that. Um, okay. So. So. I'm going to try to get you to ask polite questions with our questions today. So the first one is, how might you approach the topic of a disgusting meal aboard a cruise ship? Um, so we're not talking specifically about Titanic, but imagine that you were on a cruise ship and someone brought you a really awful meal. You can be creative about why it's awful. Like maybe there's hair in your food or flies or I don't know. Um, but you don't want to be rude, so you're going to be polite, maybe a little bit sarcastic too, I don't know. Um, so how would you approach the server as they came up to you? What would There's you say? Well, you should talk with your friend or partner like saying, this food is awful, it's appalling. Then you'll call the server and say, uh, could you change this one please, with another one? I don't think it's uh, above my standards. It's Off. above above your standards? Yeah, it's not about my standards. Um, this is not. This doesn't meet my standards. Yeah, that that could be, or fulfill my standards. Or this. I don't know. It's hard to be nice when the fault is appalling. But you have to be polite. So we're going to ask politely for them to get you new food. Do you know why is it important to be polite to servers in a restaurant? Oh, oh, because if you be polite, if you are mean to them, they're going to spit in it. Yeah, so you don't want to be impolite and then get like a spit burger. Um, <laughs> you know, that's, that's not good. So you have to be polite to them <laughs> to make sure that your food isn't gross. I would never spit in someone's food, no. I would n I've never yeah, done that. We are on air. What? <laughs> because we are on air. No, I've never done that. I would not spit in someone's food. That's disgusting. Um, That's the point. Um, Roberto, what about you? How would you approach this? the topic of a disgusting meal? Mm, would you mind checking the dish if it's uh, correctly done? Mm -hmm. Good. Would you mind checking the dish? Would you mind checking my dish? What else might you ask them? Um, excuse me, may I have another uh, dish, another option? Mm -hmm. Good. Excuse me, may I have another option, okay. please? What happens or? if he asks you why are you wanting another one? Why do you, you want would, another one? You would tell them what's wrong with it, right? <laughs> are you going to say, no. like, this is awful, this I would say, Roberto, why would you like a new meal? What's wrong with your meal? Because I am not satisfied with the meal. I think it's it has um, I don't know a bug. Oh, there's oh. a bug in your meal. So you say you're you should feel lucky that I'm not suing you right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you say there's a bug in my meal. Could you could I please have a new one? <laughs> okay, um, Quang, how would you approach this topic? What would you ask your server? Yeah. <clears throat> would you be uh, so nice uh, if I want to change the other bowl? Would you be so kind as... If I want to change the other bowl? The mm -hmm. other bowl? Okay, have you heard this? Would... Would you be so kind as to do something? That's another way to word this. So I could say, would you be so kind as to bring me a new meal? Would you be so kind as to bring me a new meal? That's a very polite way to ask for a new meal. Would you be so kind as to do something? Good. Um, che Che, what about you? What would you say to your server? 
Would you mind to change my meal, please? Good. Would you mind changing? Would you mind changing my meal, please? We have to use ing after would you mind. Okay. Would you mind changing? Um, okay. What would you have asked the makers of Titanic before boarding the ship? <laughs> they even said that even God can sink it, so they were really boastful and proud of their ship until it sank. Mm hmm. So what would you ask them? Like if you're about to get on and maybe you're a little bit concerned, you're a little nervous about going on this cruise, what questions would you ask the makers of the Titanic? Could you tell me something that will make me uh, feel safe? Mm -hmm. And they just say, don't worry, and pat your head, right? <laughs> They're there, pat, pat. Pat, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Roberto, what would you ask the makers of Titanic? Mm. If they had uh, enough lifesaver boats. Right, so how would we put that into a question? Mm. Excuse me, um, do you... Are you certain you have enough lifeboats? Uh, yeah. Good. Excuse me. Are you certain that you have enough lifeboats? Good. Um, che Che, what would you ask the makers of Titanic? Would you check? Would you mind to check the Titanic, please? <laughs> would you? Would you mind? Would you mind to check the Titanic, please? Um, we're, we need to fix this a little bit. Would you mind... Checking? Checking, yeah. Would you mind checking to make sure that there's no icebergs, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Quang, what would you ask the makers of Titanic? Uh, okay. Would uh, would you please check checking uh, my luggage before I board in the ship? Mhm. Mm Good. Would you mind checking my lu or lifting my luggage? Checking my luggage before I okay. board the ship. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. Um, Francisco. Um. Uh, write a message, Francisco. Okay. What would you ask the captain about his decision to stay on board with his ship? Um, what would you say to, if you could meet the captain? What would you say to him, or what would you ask him about his decision? You're out of your mind. You would tell him he's crazy. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Would you do you have any questions for him? What would you ask him? Like, are you gonna stay until it sinks? Are you gonna stay until it sinks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Roberta, what would you ask the captain? Hmm. Do you have any message to your wife or kids? <laughs> do you have any messages? Mm -hmm. Any last message to your wife or your kids? Or any last wish? Something like that. Do you have any last, what are your last wishes? Okay. Um, do you have any final message you would like me to deliver, you could say? Mm -hmm. um, che Che, what would you ask the captain? Um, sorry, what was the question? What would you ask the captain about his decision to go down with his ship, to sink with his ship? Would you mind to wishing to God that uh, we're, we're, we'll be okay and go to heaven? <laughs> Good. Would you mind praying <laughs> that everything will be okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you ever heard um, the expression of what captains are supposed to go down with their ships? Captains are supposed to sink with the ship. 
It's like kind of expensive. Yes, I remember. Do you think that that's fair? Should captains yeah. be expected to sink with their ships? What do you think? Um, Roberto, what do you it think? It doesn't sound fair. It doesn't sound fair? I think it's, uh, I don't, I won't say if, if it's fair or unfair, but I think it's more like a honor. If they, uh, they have the responsibility for the ship. And, mm -hmm. well, it depends on the captain, and no one can force him to sink with his ship. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's the captain's decision, right? Yep, at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, Quang, what do you think? Do you think a captain should sink with his ship if it's going down? Okay, teacher. <clears throat> uh, do you think you, you would pay your life if you, uh, if you make a decision to stay on board? Mm -hmm. Do you think you would, did, did you say, do you think you would save your life? You would pay, pay. you would uh, end your life. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So do you think that you're going to die, right? If you, yes. if you Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Quang, what do you think? Do you think that a captain should go down with his ship, should sink with his ship? Yes, I think, I think so. You think so? Why? Maybe. Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. You there? Oh, we lost him. Quang, can you hear me? Okay. Hello? Okay. Um, okay. Here's another question. If someone your seat or your bed on the boat, what would you say to them? <laughs> so imagine that you have like the best bunk bed, and then someone comes in and takes your bed. Um, what would you say? Would you ask them politely to leave, or what would you say to them? Che Che. It's <laughs> not need to polite. <laughs> Yeah, if someone steals your bed, <laughs> then what would you say? <laughs> hey, don't take my bed. Mm -hmm. Get off my bed? <laughs> Get off my bed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Would you ask them politely to leave? It is my, <laughs> it is my seat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Everyone needs to survive. <laughs> I need to survive too, not only you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good. Um, okay, and uh, Roberto, what would you say if someone stole your bed? <laughs> um, excuse me, I think there's been a confusion. You took my uh, bed that was assigned to me. Could you check your ticket, please? Very polite. <laughs> that was much more polite than Che Che. Che Che just says, hey, get off my bed. <laughs> and <laughs> Roberto's very polite. He's like, um, maybe we need to check our tickets. <laughs> very good. Um, Quang, what would you say if someone stole your seat on the boat? Yeah. Would you, would you be so kind to leave my, your seat because it's my first choice? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, would you mind... Changing seats, that was mine first. <laughs> it was my first choice. Okay. Um, here's another would you on, would you ever go on a cruise ship? Why or why not?
Oh, I live in Japan. Yeah. Welcome back. Sorry, I don't know what happened. <laughs> My internet cut out. <laughs> what, were you, what were you guys talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just about Nothing. connection. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> usually my connection's fine, but sometimes it just dies. <laughs> um, so, would you ever go on a cruise ship? Why or why not? Che Che, would you ever go on a cruise? Cruise. Do you know what it um, is? A cruise ship. I'll show no. you. It's like um mm. Mm. I can't find a very good picture. I guess this is a, a good picture. A ship with um lots of seats, some pools, um maybe a place to have dinner, um oh. cabins where you can sleep and you usually cruise from one place to another, like across an ocean or something like that. Um, like, like this, transatlantic cruises, so you can, like, cruise across to another country or, um, to an island or something. Um, so, what do you think? Would you guys ever go on a cruise ship, Che Che? Oh, can you guys hear me? Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, che Che, are you still there? It might be her connection. Okay, Roberto, would you ever go on a cruise ship? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. So where would you like to cruise to? Um, maybe uh, in, the, in the fjords of Norway. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... Sometimes cruises can be really, really long. They can be like an overnight cruise or you can go on a really long cruise, like for a couple weeks or a month. Um, so what would you feel comfortable with, a long cruise or a shorter cruise? A long one because it's not a, something you can do every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, my grandparents, for example, they went on a lot of cruises. Um, they they used to go on cruises all the time and it was kind of like it was it was fun for them so it was something that they would do for traveling um, but they also just liked to be on the water and a lot of people would go on these really long cruises as kind of an interesting way to rather than flying to another place um, but I don't know if I would want to go for that long <laughs> um, Quang what do you think uh, I never go on the cruise ship, but I hope I could uh, go on the cruise ship one time because it's, it's, it's very expensive to pay for the, for the, uh, the, the expense on cruise ship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive, I think. Yeah, they are expensive. Um, what if someone gave you a free cruise? Where would you go? Yes. If someone said, here you go, here's a cruise to wherever you want in the whole world, <laughs> yeah. where would you go? Okay. I, I would uh, visit the, the, uh, the um, you know, Black Sea. Black, mm -hmm. Black Sea. Yeah. Black Sea. Mm. Can you type it? Black Sea, uh, when you jump, uh, you need to jump uh, into the sea, you, you float, you float because mm -hmm. it's very, very soft, very mm -hmm. salty. You know that? Mm hmm. Like diving? I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Can you type the word that, did you say? Oh, the Dead Sea, the Black Sea. Oh, I thought you were saying a verb. 
<laughs> I thought you were saying a verb like diving or something. I was so confused. Um, very cool. Um, we actually did a class on that a little while ago, um, and that's somewhere I would love to go as well. Roberta, would you like to go to see the Dead Sea? Um, not actually. There aren't any cruises in the Dead Sea, I think. No, but no. Well, no, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, I would visit the Holy Land, but not specifically the Dead Sea. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And Che Che, is your connection okay? Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> would you ever go on a cruise ship? No, I never, because it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. um, what if someone gave you a free cruise? You didn't have to pay for it. They said, here you go. <laughs> then what would you do? Where would you go? Antarctica continent, maybe. <laughs> Antarctica. Interesting. Uh, yes, Antarctica. <laughs> OK, cool. Um, and another question. Have you guys ever seen the Titanic, the movie? Yeah. Yes, Did you like it? What do you think about this film? Yeah, I like it. It's so romantic. Mm -hmm. It's romantic. Do you think that it's realistic? Yes, it's very uh, true to history. Mm -hmm. Even the characters, well, except for Rose and and the guy, <laughs> all of them Jack. are real. Jack, the captain, the uh, the owner of the the company, the even the passengers are are taken from history. Mm -hmm. So they've actually brought to life um, people from that were really on the boat, right? Um, which is kind of interesting. I wonder why Rose and Jack weren't. <laughs> Everyone is except the main characters. Quang, <laughs> um, uh, have you seen Titanic? Quang? We're having lots of connection problems today. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Quang, are you there? <laughs> oh dear. At least I haven't. I've been kicked out yet again. So that's good. Um, Roberto's the only one who's had the best connection for the whole class. Um, Quang, have you ever? Yes. Have you ever yes. seen Titanic, Quang? Yes, I I've been uh, I've seen Titanic. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the movie? It's it's uh it was a uh, tragic and uh, romantic uh, love story. Yeah. But mm -hmm. at the the uh, to at the end of the film, um, you know, lost a lot of life. People lost a lot of life. Yeah, a lot of lives were lost. You could say. Lost, yeah. Lives lot, were lost. Mm -hmm. A lot of lives were lost. The most uh, <coughs> impressive, I think, is um, is is it the the the, the love between uh, two main characters. Mm -hmm. It's very romantic. Yeah. And though they are going to die, but they they also think about for uh, for the other. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I respect it a lot. Mm -hmm. yes. um, does this movie scare anyone from going on a boat? Or this story about the Titanic? Does it make you worried about going on a boat? Or a cruise? Um, no. No? No, oh, but some mm, people... I don't think... Yes, uh, maybe. I don't think uh, we use a third class system like the Titanic to help. No, it was a while ago, right, guys? Yeah. I mean, a <laughs> hundred years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. So maybe it would, um, I can see how it would scare some people, but um, you think our technology is more advanced now, so we don't have to um, worry so much about that? Okay. Um, okay, well, to review our questions, I want you guys to each come up with two sentences using would you mind okay so let's I'll start um, would you mind 
asking two sentences using would you mind and would you mind joining my classes tomorrow because you guys are awesome <laughs> so we'll go to chase day can you come up with two would you mind questions they can be about anything uh, would you mind to <laughs> to answer my question please Good. Don't forget, would you mind answering my question? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Why we Good. should uh, use ING? You always have to use ING after would you mind. Oh, okay. Always. Would you mind your verb in ING form? Always. Okay. Would you mind answering my question? Mm hmm. Can you ask another one? Yes, teacher. Would you mind uh, teaching me some idiom? Good. Would you mind teaching me some idioms? Good. Mm -hmm. And Roberto? Um, would you mind putting off that cigarette? Putting out. Oh, putting out. Would you mind putting out that cigarette? Good. Would you mind putting it out? Good. Um, okay. Now ask a question using excuse me. So excuse me, but could you please ask a few questions? Thank you. <laughs> JJ, could you ask an excuse me question? Uh, excuse me. Uh, could, can I get a glass, a glass of tea, please? Good. Excuse me. Could I get a glass of tea, please? Quang, could you make an excuse me question for us? Quang? Uh oh, I asked him again. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, an excuse me question. Excuse me, do you know what time is it? Good. Excuse me, do you know what time it is? Like that. It is. Okay. Thanks for the correction. Yeah, your your verbs flip when you use do and did in questions. Mm -hmm. Um okay, cool. Um do you guys have any questions for me about uh polite questions or anything else you want to ask about whatever before I go? No? No. Okay, well, here's my Facebook. There it is. And I will be back tomorrow to talk about television advertisements, plastic surgery, and Niagara Falls. Okay? So hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Bye, guys. Thank see you. Soon. Bye.